Do what's right for the patient. That's what we pledge when we graduate from medical school and again when we become fellows of the American College of Surgeons. In fact, it was that very principle that Franklin Martin had in mind when he founded the college. ACS President Courtney Townsend explains. The college was started because surgeons were dissatisfied with their own education and the quality of patient care. If you passed a test in all 49 states, you could start practicing the next day and there were no restrictions. Surgeons recognized a need to change this and they set about to do that and they have. And while today the college and surgery are vastly different than they were in the early 1900s, doing what's right for the patient and providing quality care remain timeless commitments. Once standards were established, the whole practice of medicine changed. You didn't operate on patients on the kitchen table anymore. You took them to the hospital, but you were well trained. Dr. Townsend's passion for surgery emerged decades before he became active in the college. While his father was a general practitioner, Dr. Townsend knew from the age of five that he wanted to be a surgeon. That's what I was always gonna do, and my father would bring me old instruments from time to time. I had several teddy bears that I would operate upon and, and sew up with uh, sewing thread. Sometimes I'd use them to hide things in the incisions and sew them up, hide them for my brothers. A few decades elapsed before Dr. Townsend made the transition from teddy bears to humans, but when he did, he knew he had found his lifelong calling. The first time uh, I performed surgery, I was a junior medical student and one of the chief residents I was on call one night and said, here, I'll help you do this appendectomy. And I did that and I thought, gee, isn't that fun? And so later on during the, the junior rotation, I was helped do, to do a below knee amputation. And I thought, this, this really is good, it's what I'm gonna do. The great thing about it is that you, you're able to take somebody who's sick and most of the time fix it and return them to health. Dr. Townsend has had a number of mentors over the years, but perhaps the greatest influence over the years, he says, has been his wife, Mary. I am here today because of my wife, Mary, and her support, unconditional love. We got married at the end of my junior year in medical school. I remember the first uh, time, first year that I was the chief resident and her birthday was on the 12th of July. I went home, fell asleep on the couch, woke up at midnight and realized that I'd failed to remember her birthday. Uh, we're still married 48 years later, uh, and I've had great support. And through the years, Dr. Townsend seems to have perfected his ability to sleep, or at least relax, anytime and anywhere as his daughter Frances and many years later, his grandson, Teddy, can attest to. Those who know Dr. Townsend personally and professionally will tell you that he has not only gotten great support from others, but has been a great source of support for many, too. Doing the right thing isn't something that he just talks about, but something that he practices each and every day. For example, Dr. Townsend has long been a supporter of women surgeons, and he credits one of his heroes and mentors for that. He is referring to Sally Abston, a general surgeon who ran the acute care unit of the Shriners Burn Institute at Galveston when Dr. Townsend was an intern. Much of it, I'm sure, uh, stems from my association with Sally Abston. I hope every day that I'm like her. There wasn't anything she couldn't or wouldn't do, and it, and it was always about doing what's right for the patient. And there have been barriers to women entering and then in, in progressing in surgery. Uh, and I've tried to do everything I can to keep that from, to break those barriers down, to remove any kind of impediments for progress of women surgeons. If you are sensing a theme here, you're right. It's about doing the right thing for others. And that is the message that Dr. Townsend imparted yesterday to the 2016 class of American College of Surgeons Initiates. It is a responsibility that each and every surgeon must keep sight of. 
and one that the college will always be committed to helping them uphold. The college provides everything for medical students, residents, young fellows in practice, old fellows in practice, so that they are prepared to do what's right for the patient. What we do every day is do what's right for the patient. That that's our responsibility because of the privilege we have of being what we are. That is surgeons and fellows of the American College of Surgeons. And we set the standards and we have to live up to the standards because we want to make things better.